Seek Professional Advice. Hello and welcome to Pro Dad New Dad. This is a mini-sode that we are going to go in-depth on TV shows. Let's not beat around the bush. Kids watch TV. They do watch TV. It's, it's the best babysitter you can get. And we have done a books episode, but obviously mm. books are for nerds. Sure. Um, yeah. And if we, if I have a child called Stone or, yep. or Hunter or or Wolf, they're not going to muck around with books. They're not going to muck around with books. No. They're going to they're going to want to watch TV shows. Uh, they are. Um, so uh, we didn't really. We've tried to avoid the TV shows before two rule, which is a is a, that a rule? It's a, well, it's it's a bit of a study. Okay. Uh, and you know your people, the, the scientists, scientists yeah. will um, will have said you know that, that actually it's good for development if you avoid watching TV shows too soon. But you know you, there's it is the best babysitter if you're busy and running around getting your kid in, in front of the TV and going just sit there for half an hour while I you know I don't know save the world yeah diffuse this bomb whatever it is that you're doing that day um, and the kid will go, oh, brilliant I'm watching TV so it, it is a useful tool um, but more than that. Um, it's such a great learning experience. So um, one of the things we found is that, you know, if you, like, so much content now is on YouTube. And say, because how do your kids even watch TV? There's, well, not, there's not a sure. CBBC yeah, well, we'll go, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, but there's so much, so, much, so much content is on YouTube, but it's very unmoderated. And, and when you start watching a lot of kids' TV on YouTube, um, and it's made for YouTube, you realise that it hasn't gone through the same strict kind of code of ethics that something for broadcast has gone through. Mm-hmm. If you start watching stuff on, even on Netflix or, or CBBS or anything like that, it's been through that checkpoint of, does this have a moral purpose? Is this teaching the child something? You can see it's been through those points. And then you watch some kind of fan-made garbage and you go, this is just bubble gum and it's useless and it's just an American shouting and buy my merch. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's really interesting. That's one thing I've realised that by watching the bad stuff, how good the good stuff is. Because in, in my mind, you know I operate a fancy media server, which I mm. stream to all of my devices yep. and whatnot. We're going to create a kid's media server right. on that with moderated content mm-hmm. that the kid can then watch. Yeah, I mean, effectively, Netflix have already done that for you. Yeah. So you have a child login on Netflix, and then you know they just get the TV shows that way. That's, yeah. that's, I mean, that is for seven ninety nine a month or whatever Netflix costs. That's already been done. Yeah, but then there's that's not a level of personal moderation, which is interesting. That's kind of what we're talking about here as well. Yeah, is that, uh, yeah. To, to, I mean, how how much are you going to pre-watch every show your kid watches? Well, there'll be things that maybe you would like your kid to watch. That's so, true. Yeah, as an yeah, as yeah, an example, yeah. like if I had to name what the single most important TV show of my life is, yeah. it would be The Simpsons. Okay, like so I've learned. Not only ethical, moral, mm. personal development, growth, family dynamic, mm. but also tons about history, pop culture, right. uh, so many things from The Simpsons. Yeah. I think it's one of been my most valuable shows of my life. But but again, but I've tried to show The Simpsons to the kids, and, and even at eight years old, it's a bit highbrow. So yeah. um, ten, eleven. I mean, I don't know how old you were when you start watching The Simpsons, but we're talking like. Two, three, four, five, yeah. and not watching The Simpsons. So two, three, four, five, yeah. things like, you know, like Pokemon, I think is very innocuous yeah. and also quite an interesting thing about like being interested in different yeah. wildlife. Well, well, and well let's, let's start with the absolute king of all kids' TV shows. Which is? Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. So they've just got it right. And I don't know what the magic formula is, um, but they just got it right. Yeah. Um, and there's some theories about what the magic formula is. Um, like the, the house that they all live in, is Brian blessed in Peppa Pig? Yes. See yes, that? he's Grandpa Dog. <laughs> see, that makes yeah, it quite yeah. interesting for me that, yeah. that to watch it. Okay. see the sky, the sea, yeah, see, does, he's the lighthouse keeper. Yeah. Okay. And he is on the boats and things. Yeah, no, he's brilliant. I mean, um, of there's he lots is. of famous people in it. Um, but the way that all the houses are on a hill and all the houses they live in are boxes with four windows. So it's drawn in the way a kid draws. If you look mm. at the credits, one of the, the names of the, the people is it's actually one of the the producer's uh, wife's, um, she's down as a colourist. Right, what a strange job. But no, what she's done is she's she's set about a colour palette which is designed to be appealing to children. So we're talking pre two here or like Well two. Two two. two. two two is the point where like they're going to watch a TV show and understand it really. I mean I like some people will put their kids in front of a TV much younger. Right. Um, and you know there's nothing wrong with those people. I'm not looking down on them, but eighteen months to two is the point where they're actually going to realistically start and watch a TV show. So Peppa Pig from two is is great. And that is will be for so many people the first thing they watch. And I really push 
let, watching a, a regulated show like that over rubbish on YouTube because I'm not this in YouTube but I mean but that unregulated fluff mm -hmm. and bubblegum that they can watch against something that's been through the ringer and you know there's it's a reason it's the most popular kids TV show because mm -hmm. every episode is kind of perfect it's, it's the symptoms symptoms for two years because I think it's illustrative again and again is that I am consistently overestimating mm. what type of things different age yeah. kids will be interested in uh, and that's going to yeah. come up, I think, if, quite if, hard. What, us. What, what will you go pre to if you yeah. do want to put something on it? Is there's some nursery rhyme channels on YouTube, which are great. Yeah. Um, things like, uh, like Baby Bum and um, like Pink Fong, who do um, uh, yeah. Baby Shark. So they do, have, do, 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 do. yeah, they have all the nursery rhymes, um, and and I'm probably forgetting the names of some of them. But channels on YouTube where it's just like two hours of nursery rhymes, and they'll learn the wheels on the bus, and they'll learn monkeys jumping on the bed. And those kind of little nursery rhymes, that's that's you, know, yeah. you get it. Uh, <laughs> and 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 obviously that's great musically. So so that was the other thing I've learned about kids is like you can't introduce a two year old to Slipknot, right? You can't jump off at that point. You can't go, oh, here's Miles Davis, to eighteen month year old, enjoy the jazz. Well, no, maybe not sketches of Spain, but, but kind of blue. You you have to, like like it's. Yeah, you have to start with the basis, and, and, and nursery rhymes is how you get kids into music. Right, right. That from experience and stuff like I've seen things like ah oh, nursery rhyme Nirvana and stuff like that, where they play those melodies yeah. on like a Twinkie thing. Is yeah. that engaging at all? Uh, I've not really done it. Not really done worth it. a shot. Worth a but, shot. But, but those kind of those are the ones that stood the test of time. Things like wheels on the bus. They they do get the kid into music, and they get them clapping, and they get them to understand rhythm, and they get them to melody, and they get them singing along, and and that's how you get kids into music. Just go classic. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you and, and and then Slipknot when they're eight. And what what age do you think? So the things that I like, you know, I like Pokemon and, and yeah. Simpsons and my son and, loves Pokemon. Oh, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So like, yeah, what what age does taste and that kind of thing come in? So are we are we talking about four, five? Yeah, yeah well, yeah, they do. So, um, so my kids have got different profiles on Netflix. Yeah. And so you'll see that you know, like Hunter is watching Pokemon and dinosaur shows. And yeah, things exactly like that. that kind of and thing. And then yeah. Scarlett's kind of getting into things with like horses and ponies. They're so gender. Yeah. <laughs> things the horses and ponies and and um, dance shows and um, like Australian TV where they're like lifeguards and things and mermaids. She loves all that kind of stuff and unicorns and and hunter likes boy stuff and it's not it's just how they are. Yeah. Um, but um, but no, you can see that diverge. But then the other day, so Willow had the um, uh, the car the um, nursery rhymes on on and then she left to go and do something else and I went in and Scott and Hunter both put their iPads down and we're just watching nursery rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just there just it's as a just, memory yeah, from it's just, just kind of six years back ago. To them, just like glued to nursery rhymes. Okay, so up until about eighteen yeah. months two, don't worry about it. Just play with nursery them, engage with yeah, nursery yeah, rhymes and that yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Two Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Pe but start on Peppa Pig yeah. and then and then kind of take it from there. So once they they've kind of gone through Peppa Pig, the next jump for the same people is Ben and Holly. So okay. Ben and Holly um, is, um, is is a bit more complex. There's more adult jokes in it. The stories are long. The episodes are longer. The stories are more complex, um, and it, it's good for kind of moving on to the next kind of level of narrative arc. Okay, and, and then from four, five, six, start thinking about things like your Pokemon's and your yeah, to and that's right. Yes, and one thing I've kind of really pushing you is Blaze and the Monsters Machines, yeah. which is amazing because it's all based around science and maths. So lots of science, lots of math, lots of concepts, and I could see my son learning actual science and maths and, and now he's doing Teen Titans Teen Titans six. is amazing I mean how do you know Teen Titans because it's a DC show I oh, know no, but, but you're like you're you know 40 <laughs> yeah but I know and, it and, it? And, and it's for 8 year olds I know it's a jump off point I've seen right, a bit okay. of Teen but Titans. that's been brilliant as well yeah. like, and, and there's a brilliant show on Netflix and a good jump off point for Batman brilliant show on Netflix called Odd Squad um, okay. which is it's live action but there are a bunch of kids who are probably like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 um, and it's a bit like um, like Why Don't You or those kind of shows where the kids are the bosses of this organisation and they're like, Agent Thick, you have to go here and solve this problem. And it's all, hmm, I have 12 of those and I only need five. How many am I going to have to take away to solve this problem? Do you know? Yeah, tick, tick, <laughs> tick, tick, tick. yeah, it's one of those. And so it's teaching the kids maths and, and it's all kind of going in and absorbing it. So stay away from YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, because like, there's like Teletubbies, but Teletubbies my kids have never got on with. Have you heard yeah. of In the Night Garden? No. Nope. In the Night Garden is the thing you watch before you go to sleep. And it's mental. Like, it's, it's properly mental. They're all called things like Maka Paka, Nuba Luba, and blah, blah, blah. And, and, and they're all like floaty and things. I mean, I went to see it live once, I think, at like, yeah, it was 
I just don't understand it. But but kids like it. It makes them tired. Probably. It's nice. Yeah. Um, so In the Night Garden is, is a good one to stick that on your list for, for your kid before they go to bed. But um, can't beat a book there, can you? Can't beat a book. <laughs> on that bombshell. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for listening yeah. to this um, special mini-sode. Yeah, um, that's uh, my guide to, to TV to watch when you're two. Yeah, yeah, that's great. See you later. Bye. For your best day. Seek professional advice.